Hey guys, we are looking at unit rates in this lesson, and the first thing we're going to talk about is what is a unit rate? Second, we're going to be applying unit rates, and last, we're going to be determining unit rates. Let's take a look together. First part, what is a unit rate? A unit rate is the value of an individual item. So if it says here at the top, if a box of eight cupcakes costs $16, then each cupcake costs, well, we can find the unit rate by dividing the total value by the total amount of items. So the whole box costs $16. I would take $16 and divide it by eight cupcakes. What's 16 divided by eight? Two. So each cupcake costs $2. That's the unit rate. The unit is about one individual item and that's it. So when we go shopping, we are constantly looking at unit rates. We wanna figure out what's the best buy, what am I gonna get the most from for my money, and which ones may I be actually spending a little bit more than I really want to. So what we do is we calculate the unit rate by dividing the cost, in this case, by the number of items. And if I do that, I get the individual price. So here, calculate each unit rate and determine the better buy based on the unit rates. So here, 15 markers for $4. I would do $4 divided by the 15 markers, and I get that it's about 27 cents per marker. The next one, 12 markers for $3.60. So I would do $3.60 divided by 12 markers, and that comes out to 0.3. Now is that 3 cents or 30 cents? It's definitely 30 cents. There would be a zero following that three, and so that would be 30 cents per marker. So which one's the better deal? The better deal is definitely buying 15 markers for $4. It's three cents less per marker. Next one, four bagels for $5.25. So I would do $5.25 divided by four. I get about $1.31 per bagel. Three bagels for $4.50, $4.50 divided by three, and we get $1.50 per bagel. Which one's the better deal? It's definitely a better deal to buy four bagels for $5.25. Now when I say better deal, and I notice that the ones I'm circling are more expensive, it's a better deal per unit rate. Like what are you getting the best deal out of individually? Next one, 20 eggs for $3.49, so $3.49 divided by those 20 eggs gets me about 17 cents per egg. Whereas $1.99 for 12 eggs gets me about 16 cents. Now, I went further out. This would technically get rounded to 17 cents, but it's important for me to show you a few places after the decimal when they're super close. Definitely here, it's very, very close prices. Um, they might actually end up being the same 17 cents when rounded, but that's technically the better deal. I want you to go ahead now and do the next three that are on my screen and then press play and see if you got the answers correct. Ready? Go ahead and pause. Okay, hopefully you did just pause and now we're gonna check our answers. Ready? Six apples for $7.49 comes out to about $1.25 per apple. $19.99 divided by 15 apples gets us $1.33 per apple. So this, the first option is the better unit price. 12 plates for 18.50, 18.50 divided by 12 gets me $1.54 per plate. 14 plates for $20.50, 20.50 divided by 14 gets me $1.46 per plate. And then the last one, seven bottles for $3.70, got me about 53 cents per bottle. $1.50 divided by five gets me 50 cents per bottle. And the second option was definitely the better buy. How'd you do? Okay, great. The last part of our lesson, now it's in word form. Find each unit rate. 352 pages in four books is blank pages in each book. So again, I'm using division to say if there's 352 pages overall in four books all together, how many pages would then be in each book if they were divided separately? So I would go to my calculator, 352, divide that by four, and I get 88 pages in each book. 68 students in four rooms. I would divide the 68 students by four rooms. That would mean that there's 17 students in each room. 24 cans in four cases, we could do this mentally. 24 divided by four is six cans in each case. 
144 erasers in 12 packs. What's 144 divided by 12? Hopefully you said 12. 40 hours in five days. So when you start working and you're working 40 hour weeks over the course of five days, 40 hours divided by five days would be eight hours per day. 52 bananas in sets of four, 52 divided by four. I like to think about 52 cards in a deck. There's four suits. How many cards are of each suit? 13. Um, 52 divided by four is 13. 99 candies in three bags. 99 divided by three is 33. 64 pencils in 16 boxes. 64 divided by 16 would be four pencils in each box. 35 coins in five cups. 35 divided by five is seven coins in each cup. 120 napkins for 10 tables would be 12 napkins for each table. 88 buttons on 44 shirts. 88 divided by 44 means there's two buttons on each shirt. 78.8 ounces in two jars. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that I'm going to use my calculator for this one. And we end up getting 39.4 ounces in each jar. And then the last one, 135 pounds in six suitcases. So 135 divided by six and we are left with 22.5 pounds in each suitcase. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.